Yes lads, what are you saying and welcome back to another video on the channel. Kean Marley here and welcome to your player ratings, Derby County player ratings. We're also going to be rating the home support out of 10, away support out of 10 from last night's last minute scenes against Wigan Athletic. Just to touch on the performance, I thought if Shiniesta did not score last minute, they would have been calling for Koku's head. That was one of the deadest performances I've seen at Pride Park. Sidewards and backwards passing. And we were lucky that half time, uh, when the half time whistle went, it wasn't 1 or 2 0 to Wigan. They had a lot of chances, uh, which is, yeah, that, that has affected the player ratings. Uh, so even though we did win, they are still very low. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the goalie, Keller Ruse, obviously got it all in. The Ruse, Ruse, goalie, made a few decent saves. However, this guy. I don't know what it is, but I think he's allergic to coming out and claiming the ball. He never commands his box, um, but a couple decent saves that really kept us in the game. Uh, I think it was one chance through Jamal Lowe, uh, through on goal, one-on-one. -on -one, and yeah, it was a weak shot from Lowe, but solid save from Ruse. So Ruse, for that, gets a 4.5 out of 10. As always, let me know what you guys think on this uh, in the comment section down below. Next up, Jaden Bogle. I've given him a 5 out of 10. Weren't too bad, uh, especially compared to a few of them. Going forward, yeah, decent. Defensively, obviously needs to work on it a little bit. But yeah, couldn't really fault him massively about the game. Still a lot to improve on though, Jaden Bogle. And next up, Matt Clark. Just because of his negativity on the ball, he gets a 3.5 out of 10. It was like... The fans were getting gas, saying, come on, let's go, let's go. And then Matt Clark will get the ball and either pass it sideways to Curtis Davis, his teammate in the back or pass it to Ruse like the guy would never pass it forward defensively he was all right though which is why I couldn't give him like a one or a two he was pretty solid it was just really really negative thinking from Matt Clark yesterday uh and then next up the next center back Curtis Davis I've given him a six out of ten much better uh running forward with the ball yes a few times he was getting caught out in possession because what he was doing was Obviously, he wanted the win as bad as the fans. He was running forward, but then losing it because obviously he doesn't have the dribbling IQ of a attacker. So he wasn't amazing, but yeah, definitely I'd rate him higher than Clark. Uh, and next up, left back Scott Malone. I've given him a three point five. This guy, he was not much delivery into the box, so attacking wise wasn't all that, but. Defensively, not great either. I can't really give this guy a high rating because that side was just getting abused so many times. Uh, and yeah, Wigan had so many chances to go in front and luckily for us, they didn't. So yeah, I can't really give the defenders anything stupidly high because we had too many chances uh, for Wigan. So now on to the holding midfielders. We're going to start off firstly with Bielik. I've given Bielik a 5 out of 10. Bielik, he was not really quick on the ball. He was like... Always looking for the to do something extra. He was never doing the basics. Uh, a lot of fans saying, how is this guy worth 10 million? Uh, I don't even agree with that some really either. He's got a lot to prove still. Losing the ball quite a bit in the middle of the park. Um, uh, yeah, I think he's just got a lot more to prove to the Derby fans. And next up, the next holding midfielder. It's man like Graham Shiniesta. He gets a 9.5 out of 10. Solid. To be fair, now nah, forget that. He gets a 10 out of 10. Last minute, top right corner. You love to see it. That goal absolutely made Pride Park erupt. And yeah, his game may not have been the best, but he's just got us three massive points going into Hull, which I have got my tickets for. So don't forget to stay tuned for the live match preview tomorrow night, Friday night, 7pm. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And then... Now we're looking at the attacking third of the pitch. So Dwayne Holmes, I've given a 6 out of 10. Running forward, I liked his determination, uh, his aggressiveness as well, when at times none of the team was really showing that. Um, obviously, physicality-wise, not the biggest, so he was getting dashed off the ball a few times, but he was really determined to get us through. So yeah, he gets a 6 out of 10. And then next up is Jamie Patterson. Who I didn't even clock was playing yesterday. Patterson gets a 4 out of 10. We'll go for a 4 out of 10 for Jamie Patterson. Um, Patterson, he was solid against Barnsley, uh, Leeds and a few others. But yeah, yesterday wasn't that great. Didn't really supply Martin and Waghorn. And, you know, when the likes of Patterson and Holmes are off their game, you know the strikers are going to be 
which is when the goals aren't going to come in. So, yeah, it's really pivotal that Jamie Patterson is on his A game every game. Uh, so, next up is Tom Lawrence. He gets a 6 out of 10. Rate him higher than Patterson, just because on this side he was more... Uh, looked like he wanted to do more with the ball. Look a lot more positive thinking. Yes, everything he didn't try didn't work off, pay off. But, uh, yeah, he tried his utmost to get the balls into the strikers. Still a lot of work to be done, though. Like To be fair, I'm going off this off the second half. The first half, that it was dreadful. There was literally no passion and no urgency. Uh, but second half, stepped up, but still nowhere near good enough. Um and then, next striker, Martin Waghorn gets a 3.5 out of 10. Waghorn yesterday, he was like non-existent pretty much. Obviously, this isn't the real Martin Waghorn, uh, and I'm sure it's just a blip. Hopefully, back better than ever against uh, Hull on Saturday. But yeah, yesterday was not great at all, and hopefully he can step it up, especially before Wayne Rooney comes. So yeah, Waghorn gets a 3.5. And then next up, Chris Martin, rated him higher, uh, just because he looked more involved in the game, a bit more positive thinking, holding up the ball, playing uh, it to the wide players. Martin gets a 7 out of 10. As always, let me know what you think about that. Yeah, I'm giving Chris Martin a 7 out of 10. Obviously, un unable to get the goal, but I believe, I think he might have laid it off to Shinny. Um, and yeah, he was doing that a lot yesterday. Yes, not magnificent from Martin, but yeah, couldn't really fault him like loads because he, he wasn't like, Really, really bad. So, yeah, seven for Martin. And Matt Marriott, who was brought on with about 20, 25 minutes to go. Marriott gets a six out of ten. Um, just looked really, really quicker with Marriott on the pitch uh, compared to Wagon. Something we lacked when he wasn't there was tempo, high, quick, uh, you know, speed on the ball. Uh, yeah, and he came on, played on the right-hand side, which I thought was a bit weird. I personally would have put him up top, uh, playing more central. Um, but, yeah. He gets a 6 out of 10. And lastly, Max Lowe gets a 5.5 .5 out of 10. Came on from, from Malone uh, as a sub. So Goku went man for man. And Lowe did all right, to be fair. Came on, kept a clean sheet. So, yeah, it'll probably be a good day at the office for him. So, there are the player ratings. Home support out of 10 gets a 6.5. The whole game we were dead, but I've I've got to rate it over six because of them limbs last minute. Uh, and if that didn't happen, I probably would have had to rate the home fans about one or two out of ten. Uh, that pretty much goes for the players as well. If we didn't score then, and we didn't come away with three points, this would have been so negative. Uh, and then away support, Wigan brought 290 down to Pride Park. Fair play to the Wigan fans that turned up yesterday. Not really made any noise, uh, but yeah, I'm sure you lot were so mad with that last minute goal. Wigan get a 4 out of 10. So there you go. There's the pre uh, review. I hope, really hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Check out the Magic Sponge in the link in the description down below. And I'll see you all tomorrow, Friday night for Hall City. Let me know your score predictions for that game in the comment section down below on this video. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care.